An alleged serial rapist is now off the streets. Palm Beach County deputies arresting Vincent Lang Jr. of Orlando. He's accused of raping women at knife point in Orlando. And now he's accused of raping a woman in Wellington. CBS 12's Victoria DeCarnas joining us live with more on the suspect's disturbing criminal history. Yeah, Vincent Lang Jr. has been on law enforcement's radar for nearly a year now after being charged with raping two women in Orlando. But he bonded out of jail and made his way to Palm Beach County, and now another woman is accusing him of rape. Now he's back behind bars. Vincent Lang Jr. was taken into custody Tuesday and charged with sexual battery with a deadly weapon after Palm Beach County Sheriff's investigators say he raped a woman in Wellington. According to this report, a woman agreed to meet with a man she met online at a gated community in Wellington. Once there, she says Lang came behind her with a knife and held it to her face and forced himself on her. After nearly an hour of terror, he let her go. We're told the woman did a reverse search using his phone number, discovered his name, and did a quick Google search where she found he had been arrested in Orlando for similar attacks on two women. This has got serial rapists written all over. In both cases, Orlando police say Lang kidnapped the women at knife point, took them to an apartment, and raped them while recording the assault on his phone. Orlando police say after the news of his arrest, several more women came forward as victims, though he was never charged. According to court records, the state attorney's office dropped one of the two sexual battery cases in Orlando. And for a second case, the judge agreed to release Lang from jail in February after he posted bond. And Vincent Lang is now sitting in the Palm Beach County Jail on no bond. The Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office is asking anyone who may have come into contact with Lang to come forward. Reporting live outside of the Palm Beach County Jail, Victoria DeCardenas, CBS 12 News.